hello and welcome in today's video we are going to start our lab 18 that is adder cap for ARP spoofing so let's get started um, these are the instructions if you want to follow on your own Kali Linux and these are some more and we are done so basically, actually, uh, number 12 is just to close the uh, windows. So from 1 to 11, if taken out, keep us take a screenshot over. Let's get started. Let's uh, put our Kali on. Boot it up. I'm gonna make it even bigger. Let's go full screen. And the first thing is application 09 sniffing and adder cap application sniffing and adder cap right there and option menu set net mask options set net mask and for the net mask Two five zero. Press OK. From the sniff menu, unsniffed sniffing, and we need to make sure it's wiper zero. Um, if you're following on your Kali, this is just an interface, so they probably have this interface internally like it's a network uh, if you have done <coughs> uh, using VMware or any and created your own virtual machine network then the Ethernet adapter you can name it so I'm thinking it's something like that from the host menu click host list hosts list and scan for hosts Mm. Okay, host scan for host. So it gave me a couple of there. <coughs> and actually, these two are in the instructions as well. If you <coughs> so, we're gonna this one we're gonna add to target one. And this one we're gonna add to target two. You can see over here it's saying it's target one or two. Alternately, you could click those, but I that I use the right click. <coughs> From the MITM menu, R poisoning, <coughs> and in the MITM attack box check sniff remote connection sniff remote connection click ok S select start sniffing from the start menu start sniffing <coughs> unified sniffing already started okay from the hosts menu save to file save hosts click save to file file system TMP okay file system and T MP right there do you have to name in something The name is ARP.TMP, okay. Capital ARP.TMP. <clears throat> so that's that was it. There is nothing else. Now in the theory I've read, I like in Security Plus my understanding is that these 
their MAC addresses have been switched and oh actually we can confirm that or not <clears throat> There should be a way like this is that's why i don't like these use certify labs but in theory uh our poisoning should like uh change the mac addresses <clears throat> so if we could sniff again host scan for host and But there's the same, the MAC address system stays the same. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so we're gonna go, we're not gonna go deep down here, but in theory, I think. If we run Wireshark and send uh, messages, uh, the messages intended for this will be delivering to this, and intended for this will be delivering to this. If that was the purpose, like change the MAC addresses. But if we were to add a another, we could do that. Like basically, we will be uh, getting the packet packages uh, meant for these machines, <clears throat> and. Uh, like it depends what we did uh, are we sending packages to uh, one for the other or we are uh, taking over their packets and uh, capturing them all right so let's uh, again a useless lab uh, but no, not all useless we did learn how this works without any explanation we just got the fun of doing things uh, <clears throat> so let's uh, uh, let me see if i can submit evaluate all right so if this video has helped you uh i doubt that but please rate subscribe comment and share and i see you in the next one